artwork on the box there. Really nice. Moving along the side of the box, we've got some nice colour schemes for you. Moving along. Back around to the end of the box. There's another picture of the front, top of the box. Now moving along down the other side of the box, there's the photo etch they're talking about. The wire struts. Moving along to the crew, we've got three crew members there, machine gunner, pilot and probably a navigator. And there the, uh, the swordfish in the folded wing position. And end of the box, again just a copy of the top image that we had earlier on. So there we are, all in all, a nice piece of artwork, as always with Tamiya. So let's have a look what's in the box. So as you would expect with Tamiya, all comes in little bags, all in little bags. So let's see what we've got. So the first bag has two spruces in. I've just taken the, uh, the staples off so we can make it a bit easier for ourselves to get to things. And the first thing you notice about this kit is the, the canvas stretch over the wooden metal frame here, which has been picked out quite nice. There are some injection moulds where the plastic's gone in, as you can see. I don't know whether you can catch that one there on the camera. Let's move it along a bit. Just there in the light, you can see there. But it shouldn't be causing too much of a problem. And there's a close-up of the, the stretch canvas over the wing. Nice detail on the tail fin there and the upper rudder at the back of for the plane. Some more strut work. More of the top of the uh, wing there we can see. Again, as I say, nicely cut out. Nice detail on that spruce. Moving on to the second spruce, spruce D. Comes with the engine coolant, as you can see there. Moving along, we've got the instrument panel. Moving down, the struts for the inner side of the cockpit. A radio, wireless box, some seating, some more strut work. Along pilot's pedals there that you can see against the engine coolant. So that's bag one, two spruces in bag one. Now, moving on to my favorite part, the actual bodywear. Now this is finely detailed, beautifully cut out, blue, beautifully molded, lots of um, very fine detail work gone into this kit. Um, the crew, as I say, you've got the pilot, the navigator, and rear gunner, I would have presumed. So let's have a little quick look at these um, these figures that come with this kit. Now, I've just made the Lancaster 148 scale, and I was slightly disappointed with the crew figures in that. But these, um, with it being a newer kit, the moulding is much better on this. There you see, if you can pick up on that on the camera, on the detail. Well, let's have a look at some of that detail along the fuselage of the plane. Moving along towards the tail end. Propeller, some more spruce work. And inside the uh, fuselage, we've got some nice detailed work going on. All the way along to the tail fin. That's spruce two. All right, moving on, we've got another bag. Tammy, I do do lovely kits. I'm really pleased with this one. Okay, more of the wing section for you to see here. Quite nice with the uh, undercarriage wheels. This one doesn't come with the pontoons. This is the, uh, the carrier base one. I think this one was on Arc Royal. If you remember right, and the part of the model kit there for the uh, the sitting of the arrest and hook for landing on aircraft carriers, more spruce work, yeah. Uh, upper spruces for the wings, I would presume. 
again the wheels wheelbase and some more finer detail there along the side again moving on to the next spruce pretty much the same we've got the uh the upper struts for the wings here upper lower whichever they are again some nice detailed work there and the wings with the stretch canvas over the uh, water metal frame aluminium looks really nice really nice and crisp now this kit you can make with the wings either fully extended or um in the hangar position and uh, as it would be stored on the aircraft some more little pieces here uh, engine exhaust looks like a water fuel in air storage uh, aerial navigational stuff let's get a close-up on that one looks quite nice all very finely detailed as you would expect pull that back so you get a good look at that this is spruce k The next bruise we're going to look at is the armament. So we've got flares, bombs, and one main torpedo on this bruise. Just pull back a bit there. Have a look at the torpedo. There's the torpedo. Some incendiary, some bombs, some ordnance, flares, and the uh, the bomb racks to hold them onto. A nice little detail there if you notice that is the the twin propeller for the uh, the torpedo that's spruce f so all in all quite a nice kit and again the second part spruce e with the opposite sides for the uh, ordnance and the torpedo all in all a nice looking kit Got some rubber and um, plastic bags here for the wheels, I would imagine. They come with the kit. Not a lot of clear plastic in this, as you can imagine, as it was open top. But I'll show you it anyway. There's a little bit. Let's get out of the bag. So there we are. This is Spruce F. So if you look there. Front bit of a canopy. Yeah, as I say, not a lot of plastic on this. I've just done the Lancaster, and oh my word, it was the sunglass and plastic in that to paint and sort out. Let's have a look at the decal sheet. Nice crisp decals. There we are. We've got the um, Royal Navy with the roundels, tail detail. Prop yellows on for you to do, if you so wish. Um, a little set of seat belts there. I'm not too sure it must be for the pilot. And there's those nice prop details I was telling you about there. Very nice. So that's the decals. Now this is what I was telling you about earlier on. This is the um, 148 scale series uh, fairy swordfish. Um, bracing wire set that was the name that I was trying to think of and I couldn't think of it so when you're doing your struts on the plane um, you can upgrade and get this um, photo etch as you can see it's with a Tamiya produced by Tamiya uh, and that's the bracing wire set for the for the wings it's quite nice you get a zoom in on that I think that was about 10 quid, I can't think, between eight and 10 pound. But this model's from eModels. Um, if, if, you, if you can't find what you want on eModels, there's something wrong with you. There's something there for everybody. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come back to the um, instructions. Uh, we'll do another little follow-up um, video on them. But as it's just the uh, the bog standard Tamiya pages, and there you have it. So there you go. That's my next project, the Fairy Swordfish Mark Two by Tamiya in one fourth scale. Purchased, of course, 
from e models um, if you like the video like what you see see what you say uh, like comment share i'd like to know where you're all from um, i'm based in london um, so yeah give me a nod let me know what you're up to uh, and as always take care of each other and uh, look after yourselves thanks bye